We're gonna do something a little bit different today. One of our viewers named Sam uh, sent me an email and he has a 1962 Mobile Scout. I think he's got uh, pretty deep into it and uh, he kind of got stuck, which is easy to do because uh, sometimes we forget to take measurements or you forget to take pictures, I know I do. So you gotta be very careful on that. So he asked if I'd come out and maybe give him a hand, take a look around, see uh, see if we can get him back on track. So uh, gonna be not Rob the Rebuilder today, but Rob to the rescue. Let's give that a try and see how it works out. All right, we just pulled into Sam's place and uh, Look what we spotted right here. I think this is gonna be a good one. We're gonna meet Sam. Hey Sam. Hey Ron, how are you? Good, good, thanks for calling me out here. I really, uh, let me do a quick little walk around here and we'll take a look and see what we got ourselves into here. Now, uh, what year did you say this is? 1962. And it's a mobile scout. You can tell by that uh, kind of triangle door uh, window, that's uh, very, very cool and it's intact. And that's original, is it? Yeah. Man, I say that's just a really good, good looking camper. And it looks like the skin is all in real good shape. Do you have any, any issues with the skin? At least on this side, it's in pretty good shape. There's a couple of, you know, holes on the other side over the years, people do different fixes or Great looking. Now, you told me that uh, you've been working on it a little bit here and there. Oop. Hold yeah, on. I've had it for two or three years now and just trying to chip away at it on the weekends over here at my mother-in-law's house. So it's been, it's been slow, slow but steady. All right. So you, you said you kind of got a little bit stuck. What are your concerns before we go inside and take a look? Well, I got to the point where I done replaced some of the framing and framed some of the stuff on the inside, uh, which I now realize was a little bit early. Uh, and then I got to the point where I thought I was ready to put the skin on and realized, well, if I'm wrong about that, uh, it's going to be a big ordeal to, to go backwards. So that's when I reached out to you for some expert advice before I got it. All right. Well, you're going to get the uh, advice. Whether you get the expert or not, we're going to find out. Now, what's really cool is you've got the Bardman L66 lock, and you told me you've got the key. So that's really good. Nice screen door. So we can see that uh, got it framed in for the most part. Started working on kitchen. Now here's what I really like. Look at this. Queen size bed. That is comfort deluxe. That was a uh, request from the wife. And, uh, hey. Dare not say no to that. No, you can keep her happy and camping is going to be a whole lot more happy. All right. I mean, I, th I think you're framed in pretty good. Yeah, like I said, I, I think it's probably too early. Um, because some of, that was some of my concerns. Once I go to put, you know, some ceiling skin, whatever that is, on, it just feels like it's not gonna be supported all that well. Well, um, I see where you're coming at, uh, coming from there, and I can see where uh, we do have maybe oh, a few issues here. I don't think you're beyond the point of rescue by any means. Because I, I can see you've taken your time. You've used, it looks like a Craig jig. and got some pocket holes put in. That, that was a fantastic purchase, that Craig pocket <laughs> hole jig. Yes, yes. You stop breaking wood and having to redo it. So I noticed that you have installed a lot of your interior framing before you got the uh, interior paneling on. Is, is that also one of your concerns? Yeah, I mean, what I was trying to do as I was building it up is realizing there's, 
you know, here's a thing I'm going to have to do in the future, but you know, it's kind of overwhelming to think of that all at once now. So let's just do some of the framing, and I'll worry about that when I get to it. And obviously, that was a bit of a mistake, it would seem, because you know, like I said, you got it framed in, so now I'm going to have to cut you know a thousand different wall pieces and get them to fit perfectly, unless I put trim around everything. Building a puzzle instead of a camper. <laughs> yeah. That's where we got it. Looks like. Uh, Got a good size refrigerator we're going to install. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are your thoughts on electric? Uh, the plan was to put in like a, a regular camper's 12 volt slash um, 20, or sorry, the AC, DC circuit. Right. Both to have DC lights. Um, haven't decided for sure on that or not. 30 amp service, I guess? Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Well, I'm going to go out here with uh, Sam, and we're going to kind of discuss what we can do for him to get him back motivated and moving in the right direction and maybe even make a plan of attack for him because I really don't think he's very far off. I think, you know, three weeks of good, hard labor, and I think he's going to be camping. I really do. So uh, I'm going to go talk to him for a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to uh, write down what we think we should do, and I'm going to share that with you guys. Well, I just left Sam's place. Um, that's a great camper, and it's going to be a beautiful camper when he gets it done. He just kind of got stalled out a little bit, and um, I think we got him motivated to get started. We gave him a plan of action. I think the first thing he needs to do on that is to... Uh, brace it up uh, some of the work he did some of the work was done by the previous owner and a lot of it is too small of framing so he's going to beef that framing up i think he's going to pull the interior out and uh, go ahead and add his plywood from there and i think that's going to stiffen up the whole body i mean i know it will so if he gets the ceiling and the uh, walls put on then he can come back in with his interior and I think he should uh, uh, brace that up real solid. And I think he's going to be real close then. So he's going to do that. And he's going to give us a call back. And we're going to run back out there and see exactly how he's doing.